Hello guys, it is Briggsy Boy here, welcome back to Chart, and I'm returning to my FIFA 18 at Blackburn Rovers career mode, as you can see, but before we get into things, I just have a bit of explaining to do, because as you can see, we've somehow jumped into October on the calendar, and we are now 7th in the league, when last episode I think we were 19th or 20th, that is because I played 5 games, uh, which I recorded on my Elgato, unfortunately the footage kind of corrupt, didn't really work out very well, but uh Basically what happened in them results is things went basically perfectly for us. Uh, as we can see here from the calendar, if we look back on the fixtures that we had, we had a 3-0 win at home to Portsmouth in the Checker Trade Trophy. And then previous to that, we won 2-0 at Gillingham, 2-0 against Rotherham, 2-0 against Shrewsbury, and a 0-0 draw against Wimbledon. So basically we are now unbeaten in 5 games, a good record which I'm hoping to extend in this episode. The team's been on fire recently and we've been bagging in quite a few goals and getting quite a lot of clean sheets actually thanks to David Raya. But uh, the career mode, sorry about what happened last time, uh, nothing I could do about it really. I'm hoping things are going to go back to normal now and we shall kickstart things with our away bout against Blackpool. So this is the team that we've gone for. So David Ray starts in goal with Paul Caddis, Mulgrew, Lennyhan and Williams making up the defence. Elliot Bennett is on the right hand side with Conway on the left. Whittingham, Smallwood and Dak make up the rest of the midfield and Antonsen goes up top. So then let's see if we can keep this good run of form going as we get into our next match against Blackpool. Here's Marcus Antonsen doing some good work up top. Pulls it back to Elliot Bennett, hits the crossbar. And you can't fault that run that he made there onto Antonsen's cross, but maybe he could have done a bit better and we could have finished that one. It would have been a very early lead indeed. Here's Danny Phyllis Kirk for Blackpool. He whips a tame one into the box and it's into the hands of David Rea. It's Peter Whittingham to Bradley Dack to Marcus Antonsen. Craig Conway. Good pass and move into the box, but it's cleared by Blackpool. Antonson, Bennett, to Bradley Dak, Dak is some space, the shot and he just glazes over the bar there, a really good chance for us, and maybe that should have been 1-0, Corey Evans is passed to Derek Williams, back to Smallwood, Smallwood, forward pass to Samuel, Samuel passes to Antonson, Antonson hits the crossbar, really powerful shot there, and unlucky, not to find the back of the net. Here's Phyllis Kirk. He runs forward to Clayton. The shot and it glazes over wide. Full time whistle then goes. And it's a nil-nil draw against Blackpool. Not many chances for either of us really in that game. And that reflects in the scoreline. A good point though. And it keeps us up near that top half of the table. So then after that goalless draw against Blackpool, we now move on to our second league game of the episode, and it is away at Oldham. So as you can see, after that draw, we just drop a place down to 8th on goal difference below Blackpool on 19 points, 12 games played. So this away game against Oldham, it's quite an important one. They are currently towards the tail end of the table, struggling as things stand. So uh, this is the squad that we've gone for for this match, though. Paul Down and coming in for Lenny Hearn and Dominic Samuel coming in for Antonson are the only changes made to that first team squad. The other nine stay just the same. So then let's get into our second match of the episode and hopefully a win will be on the cards. Here's Menig for Oldham. He paces down the wing. Good block there though from our defender. Goes out for a corner kick. It'll be Jack Byrne that takes the corner for Oldham then. It's hard and low. The volley! And I thought that was 1-0 there. Very close for Oldham. And a let-off for us. Because as that replay shows, that cross was brilliant. The volley was even better. It was inches away from going in there. Here's Doyle. Puts the ball in. The header! Just wide. I thought that was going to go in there. Very close. I mean, there was nothing wrong with the cross. It was free on that back post, and it was a tight angle, and he struggled there to aim it directly into the goal. Here's Samuel. To Dak there. That's a very good pass. Bradley Dak finds that pocket of space. The shot, and we've absolutely... Nailed that one wide. I'm not quite sure how we managed that. He was in a prime position to score. 
the analogue, I aimed it too far to that corner trying to get a good shot away. Should have been 1-0 there, but that is a howler of a miss. And Tonson, Conway, brilliant pass out wide to Harry Chapman. He cuts inside, Bradley Dack, the shot, good save by Placide. Here's Antonson, Chapman's through, Chapman shoots, good save by the keeper and it will be a corner kick from that save from Placide. So Craig Conway whips it in and he's free, Antonson on the back post, another good save by the keeper because that one was going in. Pass it to Bennett in the centre, now to Conway out wide, back to Evans. Evans can always pick out a good pass, he does that time, and it's 1-0. Antonton shot creeping up on that far-hand side, hits the crossbar, bounces back in, and that gives us our lead. We go 1-0 up against Oldham. Good goal there by Antonson. Great power and placement to get it in, how he did. Corey Evans is good passing though. Finds Antonson, creeps up, I mean it's in that six-yard box, but it's... The way he finished it, which is special, right into that top corner. And there's no chance that Oldham's keeper's going to get down to that one. We go 1-0 up then against Oldham. Elliot Bennett. Chapman. Antonson. Is Elliot Bennett! What a save by the keeper! I thought that was going to get our second because the power that Bennett got behind that volley was insane. Good save though by Oldham's keeper. A corner kick will result in that. It's in a good area, the header. And it just lofts over the goal there by Paul Downing. Full time whistle goes in and it is a 1-0 victory for us over Oldham. The goal coming from Marcus Antonson again on the score sheet. And I do believe that's his sixth of the season. A clinical finish in the six yard box from him. Got us the three points in this one which I was after. An overall good performance by our team there. So after that win against Oldham, that has now shot us up to third position in the league table. So things are looking healthy at the moment. 22 points off 13 games. But this is the squad that I've gone for for this match, resting quite a few key players just because there is quite a few games in a row and we don't want to tire out our key players. So David Ray stays in goal. Ryan Niambi swaps for Cadiz in right back and Sam Hart switch for Derek Williams on left back. Morton and Lenihan make up the two new centre-back roles. Elliot Bennett stays on the right with Chapman moving over to the left. Smallwood and Whittingham stay in the two centre-mid roles. We've got Chaplin playing in a sort of cam position slash centre-forward. And then Marcus Antonson switches for Samuel being the lone striker in this match. So hopefully we can continue to keep this good runner form going to make it seven league games unbeaten. Who knows, maybe we can, but anyway... Let's get into it then. Here's Taylor for Plymouth. Surging forward, our defending's a bit slack here. And he curves us out with that pass, hits the post. And I booted it out there, almost scoring an own goal in the process. But it's Baraye for Plymouth. It will be a corner kick though. From our clearance. It's out wide to Carey, and it just goes wide. Tomlinson. Samuel, good pass to Chaplin, Connor Chaplin, really good save from Plymouth's keeper there, he stopped a goal for certain, there's the replay, had some serious power behind that one, did Chaplin, just tipped over with a hand, and it will be a corner kick, which Chapman takes, it's in a good area, nobody can quite get on the header of it though, and it does go out for a throw, here's Chapman, Oh, and that's a really good ball, 1-0! And it was from the strength and intelligence there of our Blackburn man that got us that goal. Marcus Antonson, that man again, getting another goal for us. He's been on fire as of late, getting another goal there. And he used his strength just pull that defender away from where the ball was heading. Here's the replay. And I mean, yes, the defender did scuff it, but he was there to just mop up the rebound and it had some power behind it there. The keeper wasn't going to save that one down to his right-hand side. And it's a great goal for Marcus Antonsen. And he opens the deadlock in this game now then. 1-0.
Chapman. Chaplin. Good pass to Antonson. Good hands though from McCormick that time. Thought he was going to get his second, but not to be. Antonson. To Chaplin. Chaplin just paces through, hits the post. And that was another really good chance from us, but still in that danger area, so to speak. But Plymouth's good defensive play there gets them out of trouble that time. Chapman out wide. He plays it into the middle. Antonson, and I thought that was going to be in. Full-time whistle goes here then, and it is another win for us. This brilliant unbeaten record stretches to seven games now, and it's a 1-0 victory over Plymouth here then. Good result and a good game again for Marcus Antonson, getting a goal in this game and proving that the one striker system seems to be working for us then. So it's another three points that is going to keep us well in contention of that top six playoff position. And uh, hopefully this good run of form doesn't come to an end anytime soon. So then going into our fourth and final game of the episode, we are at home to Portsmouth. Now after the couple of wins and the draw that we have had in this episode, we stay solid in that third place position, 14 games played, 25 points. So we are nice and comfy in that top six area now and hopefully that can stay the same in this match against Portsmouth. So this is a team that we've gone for this time, going for a more stronger lineup. David Ray stays in goal with Caddis, Mulgrew, Lennihan and Williams making up that original four at the back. Elliot Bennett stays on the right with Conway swapping for Chapman on the left hand side. Smallwood and Whittingham stay in them two centre mid rolls despite being shaky in the past couple of days. Bradley Dack comes into calm swapping for Chaplin and Mark Santonson stays up top after having a flyer in that last game against Plymouth. Now uh, let's get into this game then and hope that we can get another three points. Here's Evans and it's a early attack from Portsmouth, the shot and it just goes wide there. Bennett. Antonson, what a rocket of a goal and we go 1-0 up after just 15 minutes. Marcus Antonson again on the score sheet. He has just been on fire in recent games. His presence that he brings to the team is just electric and it's a good goal. It puts us 1-0 up in the lead then against Portsmouth. Bradley Dack. And Bradley Dack continues to run. He's got the space. The shot, good save from McGee. And Portsmouth boot it clear of any rebound chance that we may have. Williams to Evans. Evans pass it to Antonson. Antonson shot 2 0. He's second of the game. And could he get a hat trick? Well, with only 60 minutes gone, you've got to favour him too. He has been on fire in this match and for all season, really. He's just been the perfect addition to the squad up top. And what a goal that is, similar to his first, with the power and placement that he's imparted onto the ball. And here's the replay, weaved in and out of them defenders. And it's a good goal there to add to his tally this season. That is his ninth, believe it or not. And what a goal it is. 2-0 then. Paul Caddis there makes a foul. He's already on a yellow for us. Is it going to be his second yellow? And it is. Paul Caddish sent off for us then. Probably a bit reckless. Probably shouldn't have done that in the circumstance with him already being on that yellow. But it means that we are down to 10 men. Three defenders on the pitch. Luckily we are 2 0 up though with that cushion that we have if Portsmouth do go on a mad one here and score. Cadden, and it's a good block. Here's McCrory to Maine. Into the centre! Brilliant save from Ray, but the rebound goes in and Portsmouth have got us on the back foot here. We could be in trouble because it goes to 2-1 here. Luckily, we had that cushion. It's a goal from Hawkins. It was a brilliant first save from Ray, though. It was the rebound with that header, which cost us a goal. And that is the first goal that we have conceded in seven or eight games, believe it or not. Ray, great keeping. There was nothing he could have done about that rebound, though. It was a simple goal that Hawkins could tap in. To that top corner. And Portsmouth then. Back in this one. We've got a few minutes to hang on to them three points yet. It is far from over. Full time whistle goes in. And it is a 2-1 win for us. Just about got there in the end. That late goal from Portsmouth did have me worried. 
But it's that man, Marcus Antonsen, the star man for us, bagging two goals, getting his ninth of the season overall. And another good win for us, which will keep us well into contention of the top spot of League One. So then guys, that is where I'm going to wrap up this episode of my FIFA 18 Blackburn Rovers career mode. Now, hopefully you've enjoyed it. I know I have because... At the moment, things couldn't be going any better. I think we've stretched it to eight games unbeaten now. And uh, considering last episode, we were right down at the bottom of the table in 20th, now to be third and comfortably in that top six playoff position. Things are finally starting to take shape and the team is certainly starting to gel now. But um, I will see you guys next time around. Thank you for watching the video and goodbye.